Good morning friends, welcome to pre-market update. Uh, in absence of fresh triggers, yesterday market was a lackluster and it down, ended down marginally. Uh, Sensex closed at approximately 26,119 levels while Nifty closed at 7,930 levels. In terms of prominent major gainers in Sensex were the auto and pharma companies. Uh, in pharma space specifically, we were seeing buying interest yesterday in counters like Lupin, Cipla, Dr. Reddy's Lab and Sun Pharma. While in the auto space, we were seeing buying in counters like Bajaj Auto and Maruti. In oil and space, uh, which uh, was also supportive to some extent to the Sensex, and we were seeing buying in Gale, uh, which was a 0.5%, and Reliance Industry, which was a 0.1%. Uh, yesterday, what we were saying, the banking stocks were a little bit in pressure, specifically SBI, ICICI, uh, as uh, RBI has decided to uh, come out with a new uh, policy for deciding, uh, deciding the rate. Uh, lend, uh, how it is transmitting, the banks are transmitting their rates to the uh, uh, consumers. So, uh, this is causing a little bit of uh, worrying in the banking stocks, which as it might have some negative impact. In terms of uh, provisional figures, what we are seeing FIs were buyers to the tune of 60 crore in cash market, while DIs were sellers to the tune of 78 crore in cash market. In terms of global data, global queues in morning, uh, Nikkei was down marginally, Hang Seng, and, uh, Hang Seng is also down marginally at this point in time and Shanghai Wire is up marginally up 0.58% uh, at this point in time. Even if we were to analyze uh, the US uh, data, uh, all the three major indices were in uh, red. The Dow was down approximately 150, 158 points, uh, NASDAQ was down 33 points and S&P was down more than 1% uh, uh, and in points term it was down 23 points. Uh, SGX at this point in time is trading at 7921 level, uh, 35 points down, down from previous close, indicating that we might open on a marginally negative note. Friends, now let's have derivative updates. Good morning, friends. I will give analysis on derivatives. Uh, in the Swiss market, uh, taking mixed cues from the international markets, our markets open on a on a flattish to a positive note. Uh, but uh, thereon, uh, as suggested in yesterday also, 8000 was acting as a crucial resistance and in yesterday's trade also we have seen Nifty uh, uh, showing some kind of a resistance at around 8000 odd levels and also 8000 call option have uh, 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 and, uh, and we, uh, we were suggesting uh, to focus on the high, uh, to focus on the activity of the 8000 call option and we, we have seen significant amount of build up getting added in 8000 call option which is now the highest in terms of open interest. Uh, due to which uh, we have seen uh, Nifty uh, showing good amount of resistance at 8000 and, and thereon in the mid part of the day we have seen Nifty uh, uh, shown some kind of a selling pressure uh, as majority of all these sectors as heavyweight sectors like banking and automobiles uh, uh, pressurize Nifty to trade on the negative zone uh, due to which we have seen Nifty closing with uh, 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 with a loss of around 0.31 percentage at 7962.90. On the open interest terms, we have seen a reduction in open interest that is at around uh, 1 percentage was shared in open interest. On the absolute terms, uh, one and a half like shares were shared in open interest. Uh, cost of carry was more or less same at around 5 odd percentage. Uh, that is Nifty Premium has been more or less same at around 32 odd points indicating some kind of long unwinding which was observed by market participants in yesterday's trade. Uh, the put call ratio we have seen uh, further a decrease in put call ratio of around 3 odd basis point in the last two trading session we have seen a heavy uh, uh, heavy decrease in the put call ratio from 0 0.9192 odd levels to currently 0 0.84 and in yesterday's trading uh, trading session we have seen a 3 basis point cut from 0 0.87 to 0 0.84 and the volatility index was more or less same at 15.5 odd levels on the options activity, uh, as suggested, uh, out of the many call option, I've seen a uh, heavy buildup in open interest, 8,000, 8,100, 8,200 call option, I've seen an addition of around 12 to 13 odd percentage in yesterday's trade, while put option, I've hardly seen any uh, buildup in it. 8,000, which is uh, now the uh, which is the second highest in terms of open interest, uh, however, the difference between the 7,500 strike price, which is the highest, and 8000 put option is very less, so we will consider 8000 uh, put option uh, as to be the highest in terms of open interest. It is the interesting observation that uh, in the mini option, uh, in the mini put option is uh, is the highest in terms of open interest. So 8000 put option, uh, uh, the activity of 8000 put option in the next few trading sessions would be quite crucial to watch out for. While 7800 has seen an unwinding of 3 odd percentage, while 7900 put option have seen an addition of 1 percentage in yesterday's trade. So all in all, uh, the data do suggest 8000 acting as a stiff resistance, unless and until we don't see any uh, good news in the market or uh, any kind of an 
uh, activity which could boost, uh, boost the market sentiments, uh, it would be difficult for market to cross 8,000 odd levels. However, the activity of 7,900 put option in the intraday basis would be watched quite closely. If we see an unwinding in 7,900 put option, then we might see a further sell off as SGX Nifty is also suggesting some kind of a uh, downside pressure. So the activity of 7,900 put option would be in focus in today's trading session. There are no securities in bank period for today's trade. On FIS terms in index futures, they were net sellers by 506 odd crores. They have built some kind of in short positions as the open interest was up by around 1, 1 and a half odd percentage. Some more short addition was, uh, was seen by FIS in index futures. All in all, from the start of the series, they continue to remain buyer in index futures. In the last two trading sessions, we have seen some kind of in short positions by them. In index options, they continue to be uh, net buyers. In yesterday's trade also, they were net buyers by around 1150 odd crores. While in stock futures, they were net sellers by 217 crores and stock options by net buyers by 57 crores only. On the market level of FIDES, we have stands at 7966. It's a crucial level by a lower uh, range at 7950. We are about to uh, open anywhere below our lo lower range. So if in the first hour of trade, if we sustain, uh, if a market sustain below the VWAP, uh, below the lower range of the VWAP level, then it's a negative sign for our market for the short term. The higher range for the market is at around 8000. Uh, SX Nifty has suggested is pointing down, uh, is, is trading lower, it's down by 33 odd points at uh, 7922.50 indicating some kind of a negative opening can be expected in the morning trade. That's it from Derivatives, thank you. Now friends, let's discover uh, trading ideas for the day. First trading idea for the day is Aditya Villanu at 2119. Villa uh, Sun Life of, of Canada has uh, in, intends to increase the stake in its joint venture with Birla Life Insurance to 49% uh, and consideration for the deal is expected to be at, at 1664 crores. So this is positive development happening for Aditya Birla Novo. Action to be taken is long Aditya Birla Novo. Stop loss is placed at 2090. We will be targeting levels of 2160 and 2190. Next long wider for the day is Ajanta Pharma Limited. Current market price is 1377. Ajanta Pharma gets US FDA not for aldamized drug called Memantine Hydrochloride. This is positive development happening for Ajanta Pharma. Action to be taken is long. Ajanta Pharma stop loss is placed at 1359. We'll be targeting levels of 1400 and 1420. Now friends, we'll be moving on to news update front. DCB signs a pact with TBS credit service for retail loans. Udaipu Cement uh, Works founder to sell 13.6% share while offer for sale on December 4th. Wipro has acquired a company in Ger uh, German IT consulting company called Selent AG at, for a consideration of approximately 522 crore. This will increase uh, his exposure in countries like Switzerland, Austria. So this is positive development for Wipro. Government may consider selling uh, stake in Scooters India. Kalpataru Power tra uh, Transmission producer at its subsidiary Subham Logistics has withdrawn its initial plan for IPO. PVR's acquisition of DLF's DT Cinema faces CCI concern. Tata Steel refinance, refinances its 1.5 billion worth of loan. Tata Steel has executed this arrangement through its Singapore Incorporated subsidiary TS Global uh, PTA Limited. Coal India's mining project in Maharashtra with production capacity of 3.25 million tons per annum will be commissioned by this month and Orbindo gets US FDA not for a multi-disease treatment injection. Cafe Coffee Day uh, launches home delivery services. Debt laden Bhushan C says it is in process of getting 3000 crores from sale uh, and lease back arrangement for two of its assets, oxygen and coke uh, own plants in Odisha. So this is positive for Bhushan C. Now friends will be moving on to watch list. Stocks with positive and negative bias for the day. Stocks with positive bias are supply at 661, MM at 1372 and Maruti Limited at 4630. Now stocks with negative bias are XI industry at 145. And bank at 265 and India Cement at 89. Now stocks for investment which can be suggested to long-term investors Aditya Birla no at 2119, Axis Bank at 460, Britannia Industries at 2960, MNM at 1370 and Sun Pharma at 732. Friends that's all from Advisory Desk. Have a wonderful day ahead.